Hi, this is Yardane Frankel from Honest Reporting's Jerusalem office. What is the legacy of Yasser Arafat? What images most accurately capture a sense of his life? Well, the reason I'm asking this is that Reuters just published a study, The Life and Legacy of Yasser Arafat. And it is very revealing to see what images they chose to include in this photo essay. It's Yasser Arafat with the Pope. And here he is hugging Nelson Mandela. And, of course, the photo essay would be lacking without a photo of Arafat with Mother Teresa. Here he is praying with the Greek Orthodox Patriarch. And, of course, when he's in Oslo, there to accept his Nobel Peace Prize. These are images that capture the life and legacy of Yasser Arafat. Reuters, this is unbelievable. No pictures of uh, airplane hijacking or bus bombings, mass murder. No pictures of Arafat rallying crowds to use their blood to liberate Palestine. I find it hard to believe that Reuters couldn't find pictures of Arafat embracing Sheikh Yassin, the founder of Hamas, or Saddam Hussein, or the Ayatollah Khomeini. How can anybody on earth not understand that Yasser Arafat was an arch-terrorist until the day he died? Terror and mass murder, that is the life and legacy of Yasser Arafat. We have seen that when you write the media, they respond, they take action. So please, I want you to write to Reuters. I've also got the link in the description below here. And tell them that their version of the life and legacy of Yasser Arafat is simply historically inaccurate. And they need to do a better job. Are you tired of seeing Israel getting slammed in the media? Do something about it. Check out HonestReporting.com.